Hi, and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. My name is Laszlo, and today I am going to talk about a feature of the EC2 load balancer called Sticky Sessions. So, first of all, let's look at uh, how a legacy application behaves when we don't have uh, Sticky Sessions uh, in an architecture where we use a load balancer and some instances. So, let's say we have our user end user which uh, wants to access an application that sits behind a load balancer in some EC2 instances. So our user opens a connection to the load balancer and the load balancer distributes the request to one of the instances. In this case the first instance. So our user actually wants to log in. So when he logs in um, session is created on this EC2 instance and everything is fine but on the subsequent request so on the next request our user um, is directed to another EC2 instance and on this instance we have no session so what happens is that, that our user loses his uh, session his uh, is no longer uh, logged into the application in other words so this is a very bad user experience for him and um, we want to avoid uh, this uh, this uh, scenario so let's look at how sticky sessions helps us to solve this so with sticky sessions we have the same user and uh, also the same load balancer and the same um, EC2 instances but we have activated here uh, on the load balancer target groups the uh, sticky sessions feature so now when our user opens a um, uh, connection to the load balancer he is sent to one of the instances the first one in this uh, case and uh, the session is stored here on the instance and then what happens is that the load balancer sets a cookie on his uh, device. This can be a laptop or a, a desktop computer or even a phone. And then this cookie uh, is uh, transmitted with the subsequent request. And the load balancer knows that uh, Sticky Sessions is enabled for this application. And it directs the user to the same EC2 instance. And even on the third request or any subsequent request, they are all uh, going to the same EC2 instance. So this is how sticky sessions help us to avoid that issue that I've presented earlier. Now, this feature is useful in legacy applications, as I told you, because um, most modern applications um, store the session elsewhere not on the EC2 instance so you might have uh, some other uh, key value store or some database like um, DynamoDB or Redis where you store uh, your session data and then you don't have this problem anymore but for applications which are legacy and you don't want to re-architect it or uh, rewrite the code then you can use this sticky sessions feature to solve this issue. Now let's also look at how this works uh, in practice. I will make a short de demo of this um, feature uh, and then we finish for today. So let's get started. So I have already set up some basic uh, stuff so this video wouldn't take so long so I have the three instances that I've uh, presented in the presentation um, let's open some of them so if I open this instance on the browser then it says pay serve by instance number one this should be another number so instance number three and this one should be instance number two so this is what loads if I open these pages and I have my load balancer and if I copy the load balancer DNS name and uh, open it 
then you can see that um, the load balancer generates uh, uh, I mean loads a page from one of the instances and on each subsequent request uh, one other instance uh, is used so in my scenario that I've presented if the user stored his session on instance number three and then on the next request uh, the uh, request is loaded by instance number one that would be a problem so let's solve that by sticky sessions I will open the developer tools let's go to application and here I have the cookies panel and you can see that this page doesn't have any cookies in any modern application you would have some cookies but here we don't have any so let's go and uh, in the target groups because this setting is enabled on the target groups uh, each load balancer has one or more target groups and uh, you can define the settings on the target group so i open the target group and go, go to attributes and here we have the stickiness which is disabled so let's click on edit and enable the stickiness you can have two types of stickiness so load balancer generated cookie in which the load balancer generates the cookie and you can use also application based cookie where you generate the cookie and uh, deal with it so let's click on save changes and we will use the load balancer generated cookie and now after a few seconds this should uh, enable and if I go back to um, our application and click on reload then you can see that a cookie is generated here and is set on on this uh, uh, browser so you can see the cookie is named AWS ALB from application load balancer and now anytime I reload the page the request always goes to uh, instance number one so always I'm doing the refreshes and it's always instance number one and if I delete this cookie let's delete it and I reload the page you see that is instance number two is loaded and the cookie is set again so now my user is locked to instance number two and if I uh, reload the page it's always instance number two if I would delete the cookie again then it would be another instance but let's not uh, do that let's go back here and uh, disable the set, uh, stickiness click on save changes let's go back here delete the cookie and now I have disabled it and every request it doesn't didn't activate yet so I have to do it again okay so now every time I load the page it's a different instance so this is how se um, sticky sessions work now what you need to know about this is that this is used as I said for legacy applications for which we don't uh, want to rewrite code or re-architect the application and you just want a working solution in any modern scenario you would store the session somewhere else not on the instance itself so it would be DynamoDB, Redis or some other uh, session store okay so this is it about uh, sticky sessions I hope you liked the video if you did click on the like button subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon with another video here on majestic.cloud have a great day